Well, it looks as though things aren't going too well over at Disney, but then again, when is it ever? It's nothing but bad news when it comes to Disney. And this time, Disney Plus has shed 4 million subscribers in second straight quarterly drop, and I believe the previous quarter, they lost about 2.4 2 million subscribers. So they're, they're not doing too well in the, in the Disney Plus department. Uh, it's not surprising in the least. We all know the reason why. That's because Disney Plus has a lot of shite on its platform. They, they couldn't make a TV show to save themselves, quite obviously. But yes, they've lost another large, large amount of subscribers. Uh, it's nothing but funny at this point. It's very comical watching a, watching a company repeat the same mistakes over and over again. They, they just can't figure out the reason, the reason for this. Uh, but as it says... Disney Plus shed another 4 million subscribers in the first three months of 2023, marking the streamer's second consecutive quarterly drop after closing 2022 with its first ever decline. On the bright side, now they say on the bright side, I, I don't really see how it's on the bright side, but that, that's what they say here. Uh, the House of Mouse also managed to narrow its streaming business losses by 400 million down 26% year over year. So actually looking into that, so what they have lost, for some reason it doesn't mention it in the Variety article, uh, but as it says, Disney said on Wednesday that losses in its streaming business for the most recent quarter totaled $659 million, uh, an improvement to a year earlier, uh, and a vast improvement from the October to December period when losses totaled $1.1 billion. So they've they've lost $700 million. Uh, and that's that's somehow that's somehow on the bright side. Right. You know, $700 million, The amount of money they put into it, you make free films with that. And that's how much you've lost. So that's that's not something you would put on the bright side, would you? Uh, but on Wednesday, CEO Bob Iger and co beat Wall Street estimates for Disney's quarterly earn earnings and revenue due to an impressive January to March showing at the company's theme parks. Uh, that win comes during a fiscal quarter, uh, which concluded April 1st, plagued by company-wide layoffs. I wonder why they're having to lay off all these people. It's almost like none of this shit's paying off. Uh, a looming and now active writer's strike and a turf war with Florida uh, Governor Rick DeSantis. Uh, Disney ended the quarter with 157.8 million uh, subscribers at Disney Plus. That that number there is just I'm surprised they've got that many subscribers because I I just you know I guess people were only watching you know like The Simpsons and shows of that nature. They're not necessarily watching you know the new Marvel shows as we'll get to. So it's but it's still surprising they've even got that many. Because uh, I just, I don't see any reason to subscribe to Disney Plus. You, you know, I don't, I don't really see what they have to offer. Uh, but significantly missing Wall Street's estimate of 163.17 million subs. Uh, that projected figure would have been up from the 161.8 million subs. Disney Plus fell to uh, the prior quarter. Uh, this second sub drop was driven by a 4.6 million sequential decline at Disney Plus Hotstar. So essentially they, they lost the rights to Indian the Indian League of Cricket. So the like people in India seen no reason to stay at Disney Plus. They they didn't look at what's on Disney Plus. That didn't convince them to stay. It was just no, you had the the Indian Cricket League and that was it. So that seems to be the majority of where this is. As it as it notes down here, though, in the U.S., Canada, uh, Disney Plus lost about three hundred thousand subs, while it added nearly one million in international markets, excluding uh, Disney Plus Hotstar. Uh, Hulu gained two hundred thousand in the quarter to stand at forty eight point two million, and that's probably the reason why Disney are now making the decision to package Hulu within Disney Plus to add the content from Hulu uh, onto, you know, just the main Disney Plus platform. So that's that's what they're, what they're doing there. But, you know, yet again, Bob Iger 
has a has a great pl pa uh, plan. He's now admitting that he has fucked up and produced a lot of shite. Uh, as we're now seeing that the Walt Disney Company CEO, Bob Iger, uh, on Disney Plus, we realized that we made a lot of content that is not necessarily driving sub growth. I, I wonder why. And, you know, again, it is not surprising. What TV shows have they made that has, has you know, that would bring people in? She-Hulk. You know, a show that hated its audience. Uh, so it's, you know, we don't really need them to tell, that, tell us this because it is obvious that none of these shows that they've been produ producing on Disney+, Plus, whether it's Willow, whether it's National Tre uh, Treasure, have not brought any anyone in. Uh, you know, that's the reason why uh, they've only got one season. You barely see a Disney Plus series make it past the first season other than... Loki and the Mandalorian. That's about it. That that is that is all. Uh, but let's see what is what his big plan is. What what revelation he's now come to, even though it's fucking obvious. You know, give me five minutes with this company. I could I could turn Disney Plus around really quick because it's not difficult. It really is not difficult. Uh, the Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger confirmed much of the content the company created for Disney Plus was not driving sub-growth uh, for, uh, for the streaming platform. In fact, he admitted some of the programming they, cr they created did not drive sub-growth at all. What, you try you're telling me that National Treasure, Edge of History, didn't, didn't bring sub-growth to the platform? You're telling me that Willow didn't bring sub-growth to the platform? Shocking. Uh, during the Walt Disney Company's uh, second quarter... Uh, Iger stated, as we grow the business in terms of the global footprint, we realize that we made a lot of content that is not necessarily driving sub-growth, and it took you this long to address it. Uh, and we're getting much more surgical about what it is we make. I'm, I'm sure you are. That's why we've got all these dog, sh dig dog shit TV series on the way. They're getting very surgical, guys. Disney are changing things around. Uh, so as we look to reduce content spend, uh, we're looking to reduce it in a way that should not have any impact at all on subs. We believe there is an opportunity for us to focus more on real sub drivers. So to do that, Bob, what you got to do is you got to hire some good writers and get them to come up with some good TV shows. That's that's how you do it. Uh, Iger went on to reveal that many of the pieces of content they created were negatively impacting the company's bottom line due to their marketing costs, outweighing the subscription revenue. He explained, and one interesting example I should throw marketing into, uh, where when you make a lot of content, everything needs to be mar uh, marketed. So that's why you don't go, let's start making 20 Marvel shows. You know, it's not a not a good thing to do. Uh, you're spending a lot of money marketing things that are not going to have an impact on the bottom line, except negatively due to the marketing costs. One thing we also know is that our films, those that are released theatrically, big tentpole movies in particular, are great sub-drivers. But we were spreading our marketing costs so thin that we were not allocating enough money to even market them uh, when they came out on the service. Uh, you know, it's because it's always fight that you know the amount of money that gets spent on this shit, and, and still you know no one's turning up to it. Uh, Iger then went on to admit there was a number of pieces of programming uh, that were not driving any subscriptions whatsoever, uh, as witnessed by the ones that are coming up, including Avatar, Little Mermaid, Guardians of the Galaxy, Indiana Jones, Elemental, etc. Uh, where we actually believe we have an opportunity to lean into those more, uh, put the right marketing dollars against it, allocate more away from programming that was not driving any subs at all. Uh, I guess this, uh, this is part of the maturation process as we grow into a business that we had never been in. Uh, we are learning a lot more about it. Specifically, uh, we are learning a lot more about how our, our content behaves on the service and what it is uh, our customers want. So, you know, we're still yet to see any change there. 
that you want to give the customers, not consumers, you know, stop calling them consumers. That just seems a bit rude to me. Uh, but, you, you you know, you haven't figured out what your customers want, even though there are so many people screaming at you what it is they want. It's, it's so obvious. It's right there. Just produce good TV shows. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That is all, all, that's what your customers want. It's just good stuff that isn't your preachy bollocks, that doesn't have utter contempt for the audience, uh, and your be aces. That, that's, that's literally all you need to do. But we are yet to see that. We've heard Bob Iger talk about, uh, you know, we're going to focus more on quality than quantity. We, we are yet to see that. I, I, you know, it's even if any of these changes, like we've spoke about with Marvel, any of these changes that come into come into play, you know, it's too late. <laughs> you you have to you have to turn very quickly. You have to course correct very quickly. But we're we're not going to see any of this until years and years down the line, because you know, again, the amount of shit they have thrown in the pipeline that they've got to release, you know, they're kind of shit out of luck. So, but again, it's pretty obvious what your your customers want. Everybody's telling you that they've told, they've been telling you for for a few years now. Uh, as for the new strategy, the company plans to employ the Walt Disney Company's senior executive vice president uh, and chief financial officer Christine uh, McCarthy detailed it earlier in the earnings result uh, webcast. Uh, she said, "We are in the process of reviewing the content." on our DTC services to align with the strategic changes in our approach to content curation uh, that you've heard Bob discuss. As a result, we will be removing certain content uh, from our streaming platform to save money uh, because we've, you know, fucked up uh, and currently expect to take an impairment charge of approximately 1.5 to 1.8 billion. Uh, the charge, which will not be recorded in our segment results, will primarily be recognized in the third quarter as we complete our review and remove the content. And going forward, we intend to produce lower volumes of content. They've also got to be good. Just just remember that. They've also got to be good. It's not just about, well, if we put less up, you know, that's somehow going to fix anything. It's like they also have to be good. Uh, of content in alignment with this strate strategic shift. So that seems to be what we're looking at at, at Disney. They're going to be removing certain content to save a bit of money. You know, I wonder why. Uh, you know, again, they're now admitting after years and years of being told, oh, no, everything's fine at Disney. They're going to be just fine. They are doing great. Yet we, you know, time and time again, we are now having what most of us have been saying. They are now having to come out and admit this, that these shows they are producing are not driving sub-growth, which, you know, we, we all know that. We all know that. So, you know, again, it's Disney. It's, it's one of those companies where, you know, I could come in for five minutes to sort your company out, but I, I, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't want to because, as I say, it's very comical just watching a company keep repeating the same mistakes and just, just not learning anything. But it's not surprising that Disney Plus have now lost another 4 million subscribers. You know, some of it is based on the uh, Indian Cricket League, but again, you had nothing else to convince them to stay around. So that's that's not good either. Uh, but, you know, there, there, there it is again. They've lost more subscribers. Uh, not surprising.